Hey, what's going on there, everybody? Welcome back to another video. We are continuing some of our off-season content, getting you guys a quick video on this Monday. I know you guys are all probably, you know, pissed off. It's Monday, just finished my break. But we're continuing NFL. You know, we got to keep giving you guys some content. Today, we're going to be talking about why the Washington football team should target Sam Darnold in a trade, as well as just uh, some rumors that have been flying around, obviously, as they have been rumored to get Darnold, as well as several other teams. But yeah, so we're just going to be talking about it. And let's get into the video. So, obviously, Darnold is a work in progress, I would say, to say the least. Um, at the end of the day, Darnold is not someone who's going to be that that immediate impact. And and he can be, like like we've seen from Deshaun Watson, uh, notably. But obviously, Wentz is off the market and Stafford's off the market. And now there's two teams that are in need of a quarterback and have very good defenses, and that is the Washington football team and the Chicago Bears. And I feel like... Each team, I would say the Bears, great coaches. They're a quarterback way. We're going to target the Washington football team because really right now, and I'm even a Giants fan, this division is really for the taking. The Cowboys, I'm not not completely convinced. Obviously, they will have Dak back. Again, Dak, main, Dak is a free agent, so that anything can happen there. You know, the scenes, if he does not resign, you know, that always is up in the air. But something I really do like about Darnold, he's 23. And obviously with the Wentz trade, as it just went down to the Colts, I believe they give a second and a third or two. It, was a, it wasn't a lot. They didn't get a lot of compensation for Carson Wentz, who we've seen his ceiling. And it's it's the, the market for quarterbacks has really gone up and down because first it was so high as we saw what Stafford went for, which was seemed like way too much to first or a first round, you know, two first rounders, a um, obviously that third round pick and then golf. And we've seen what Watson's rumored to go for, you know, basically several first rounders, seconds and, and good players. And the thing with Darnold is it's, it's not, he's not expensive. First of all, cause he's still uh, on his rookie deal. He's only 23. I believe he has one year left. So Again, it's kind of like a trial. If you're the Washington football team, you bring him in, you sign him, and if he's not that good, obviously you just re-signed Heineke to a two-year deal. And really what I don't understand is Washington, I mean, you kind of need to jump now. Obviously the Patriots as well are in need, but why I think Washington really fits Donald is, is this, elite, this division can be theirs. And you bring Donald in, and we've seen the upside he has. Donald is still a good, serviceable quarterback. We've seen what he can do with the Jets. He's very good, very good at running. Um, his arm is good. I mean, he has talent, and he has um un untapped potential, which I think can be can be tapped into with with Rivera, who's a very good coach. They have a defense that is incredible, the best in their division, and one of like top five in the league. And now with that high draft pick, because right now if if you're the Jets, I don't think. Darnold will is worth a first, obviously, as I said, with the one trade going down. So you're giving up a second, maybe a third, maybe a player. And even that's a, a bit of a stretch. So if you're the Washington football team, you're looking at Darnold, you're like, yeah, I mean, Heineke, and I'm high on Heineke. I think he could be the option, but, you know, not that trustworthy. He looked really good, but, you know, we've seen quarterbacks look really good, and then you invest in them, and, and they're average, if, if, if even that. So if you bring in Darnold and then you have that draft pick where you can either take Bateman or give McLaurin another receiver, I think it'll be addressed towards offense, whether it's a tackle, whether it's an offensive lineman, or as I said, whether it's Bateman. And I think it becomes a really well-rounded team. This division is theirs for the take. We saw what they they did last year, really. Obviously, they didn't have an amazing record, but they uh, – they, they were what were they six they were seven and nine so they you know their record was not amazing I mean they were below 500 they were a losing team I guess you could say but they have mentality and that coaching Rivera who's really you know switched the um just the mentality in this locker room and if Bateman goes here and if Wentz or not Wentz sorry Darnold goes here I think they really do have a chance I think they're an up-and-coming organization and I think they're a quarterback away I don't think they're Super Bowl contenders I would say the Bears are more but I think in a division where it's so wide open and we've seen this division been you know hit on all the time and always been criticized due to the poor quality and, and the team the the lack of team or of team performances they've had obviously with the Giants and you know the Eagles now who have cap size and are looking awful so the Eagles are really out of the picture the Giants again are a team like Washington where they're up and coming they have the defense and really the question for them is are they a quarterback away but if you're Washington really what are you doing I mean you need to jump at a quarterback now if that's some if that's I mean if you believe in Heineke and I, I I'm not a, a someone who doesn't believe in Heineke go in for that but I think you need to decide soon because Darnold's uh, he I it's really up in the air but I do not think he will stay with the Jets um you know because GMs want their quarterback and and Darnold's not who is drafted. Um so it's it's a it's a tough tough 
say, but I think if Washington right now, if you're their team, it's, it's gotta be uh, someone you have to jump at due to Darnold's upside due to um, how he won't be that expensive and someone who you can move around. And even if you want to let him sit for a year, if you want to have competition there with Heineke, we've seen how competition can be good for quarterbacks, still young guys at 23. So if, We've seen the longevity of quarterbacks in this league. Tom Brady, you know, his age, obviously, I'm not saying Darnold will play till that or even till that level, but, you know, he has a decade, if not 15 years left in his career. So he has time, and I think he has an upside. Even as a Giants fan, I really do like Darnold. I like what I've seen from him in the flash where he's been good. And we always have to think, I mean, Darnold doesn't have anything at the Jets. He had a really bad defense. Arguably had the two worst, the worst defense and the worst offense in the league. Uh, Obviously, the Jaguars, you know, it's arguable between them. But we really haven't seen him with weapons, which is what I always love to argue with young quarterbacks is you can't judge them until they have the weapons they need to succeed. And if they don't perform, then, okay, fair enough. They're a bust. Move on. But I think if Darnold, you give him McLaurin, who I absolutely love, you have Antonio Gibson, <clears throat> excuse me, who was a very good running back. You can get Bateman. You get the offensive line, which can be shored up. Obviously, Scherf. I mean, who knows? Maybe they resign him. Maybe they don't. You have a great head coach. You have a good defense that can get you the ball back and even get points uh, to bolster your score and bolster your record throughout the year. So I think if you're the Washington football team, Darnold needs to be someone you at least inquire about, see what the asking price is for him, because I think he can be very effective if his potential is unleashed. But if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to like, subscribe. It helps out so much. I think we're three subscribers away from 1,400. So if you're new and you like the video, by all means, you don't have to, but if you want to, make sure to subscribe, like the video, comment down below where you guys, I love talking to you guys in the comments. Where do you guys think uh, Donald's going? Does he fit with Washington? Does he fit somewhere else? Let us know down below. Obviously, our Colts offseason moves video, if you guys are new, we are doing offseason moves series. We're basically going to talk about each NFL team and what they should do in the offseason. So stay tuned for that series. You guys have been loving those videos we posted too so far, so you can check those out if you have not already. Check out our Deshaun Watson video, Panthers Rumors. We are going to come out with so much offseason content. So if you like the NFL and if you're you know invested in the sport, subscribe we're a small channel we if you're someone you're looking to interact we always respond to comments and we have you know a couple a, a solid few fans who who always watch and always comment we always respond and love to have the conversations follow our socials there link down below our instagram podcast our second channel as well as our website more off-season content to come where will donald go let us know thank you guys so much for watching